If you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your FIFA Ultimate Team coins, check the link in the description and use the code ETANI to get 5% off. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video where we're going to be testing out this 40 Sterling card. He looks pretty good and to no one's surprise he won obviously the footies vote. So 96 pace, 82 shooting, 80 passing, 92 dribbling and 70 physical. Now I have faced his play of the month card so many times back when I used to play the weekend league. I still see him every now and then and people just pace abuse with him and he's very very overpowered for his rating I think his uh, play of the month is an 84 rated correct me if I'm wrong but this one's a left forward so we're gonna test him out now the problem I, ha I do have with him before even trying him out is he has two star weak foot and he's right footed so it's gonna be interesting to see how he performs on the left side obviously finesse shots are gonna be pretty good with him but what about driven shots on that side it's gonna be interesting to see if he's gonna be bad or good in that position because on the right side obviously it doesn't really matter with his left foot but it makes him easier to cut in and finesse it with uh, with him when it comes down to him being in the left side position so let's see what happens I'm, I'm very interested to see if he's gonna be any good we have Mane, Lukaku, uh, Sterling alongside him it's gonna be a very very strong team that we have uh, so let's see what happens. I'm, I'm hoping that you guys vote for, uh, for Florenzi because it's a position changed uh, chance of us to get in that Florenzi as a center attack in mid or a central mid. Or you could maybe vote for the other player. I think it's Williams. Don't vote for Sissoko because we have so many Premier League players. I think every vote has been won by a Premier League player. Florenzi would be insane. Anyway, here we go. Right, the first team we are facing is a Premier League team. He does have right back Pedro. I think that's the first time I've ever seen him, ever, uh, in a squad. So this will be pretty interesting. De Bruyne as his central mid. So he has no strong midfielders. I want to see if maybe our midfield can bully his midfield easily. Let's see what happens. Let's see his in-game stats. Sterling. That's the problem of having a weak midfield. I could just easily bully them off. So let's pause the game, check the in-game stats. Here we go, I'm excited. Sterling, no aggression basically. His composure is very low. 93 attack positioning, 97 acceleration, 96 agility with very high balance. His jumping's awful, even though I've conceded so many goals uh, that are headers from him. 94 sprint speed, his stamina is decent, 86. His strength is very low as well. So we're not going to be bullying off anyone. He has decent finishing, 84. Free kick accuracy is garbage. His long shots aren't that great. His shot power is very low. What can we do with him? What's his curve? His curve is 71 as well. Oh my god. Let's see what we can do. I don't know if he's going to be any good as a winger, but again, some stats just don't make sense on certain plays. Alright, I'm liking this. Mane. Sterling's there. Ooh. If he had a bit more power, that should have gone in. Sterling's made some space. Oh, look at that. That was really good. That's one thing that's so dangerous about him is you can dribble the ball in very tight positions. So there's always that. Ref. Oh, my God. This Sterling. Oh, my days. What a save. Well, block, I guess. Sterling is just too fast. He is way too fast. Now, I would take it with Sterling. You know what? We'll still test out with Sterling, even though his free kick accuracy is absolute garbage. So he has 54 free kick accuracy. His power isn't even that good. I don't even know how much power should I even put on it. Oh my god, what? That's what I'm saying. Stats are fake sometimes, man. How does he have 54 free kick accuracy and it looks like he has 99? And that power, the goalkeeper, what is he doing? It's Courtois. This guy's got Courtois in goal and that happens. This Sterling is insane. He's so hard to stop. We're going to try it with his weak foot. The goalkeeper saves it. That's the problem with him, man. Like, in that position, weak foot, two star. Basically hit right at the keeper. But if you like to know time to dribble, this is Sterling. It seems to be insane. What the hell's going on? That was a great goal. For some reason, I just couldn't tackle him. That was an insane goal. He was just running, basically. Just The sprint speed on this Hazard was crazy. Oh, man. I thought, again, it's a decent finesse shot, but his finishing, his curve, just aren't that great. Alright, kickoff glitch with the Sterling. 
Maybe if Lukaku doesn't try and tackle him. This guy keeps getting out of the way. Sterling! Oh, his weak foot is so crap. No, not like this. Not like this. EA! EA, please! Oh, I can't believe he scored that. Easy. He's just too fast to understand what you need to do against him. Very, very fast player, and his dribbling is just one of the best I've tried. Oh, oh look at that from Mane. That is the problem. Like, if uh, Sterling had a bit more shot power, he would be able to do things like that, but unfortunately, he doesn't. So, we have to try and get very close to the goal to score some of these shots. He's just insane with uh, him just keeping the ball. His ball control is pr pretty much perfect. That's one thing that is so crazy about him. Like how so many players tackle him, but how quickly he controls the ball. His reactions must be, like his reaction stat must be so high. That scoop tone was so nice and look at that. His ball control, crazy how quick he controlled that. Pass it back, Sterling, get into a good position. Oh, with his left foot. Was that through like two players through their legs? We need to check that out. I think that was through two players' legs. Oh, no. It was through his defender's legs, but under the goalkeeper's arms. And I think this guy is done now. <sighs> He's done. He couldn't handle Sterling any longer. Five goals in the first match. Insane. Maybe he just fits the way I play, because definitely uh, can't score long shots with him, or finesse shots, they're not that good. But, inside the area, if you could put enough power, and he could easily take the whole team on by himself, because it's very hard to, uh, to predict which way you're going with him. He's just insanely fast, and his dribbling is just pretty much perfect. His ball control is the best thing about him. Alright guys, second opponent has basically a, just a normal Premier League team, Zoom, I haven't seen him much uh, after like the first couple of months of FIFA. Musa, I haven't seen him in ages. Interesting squad. Oh, he's opened the way up for him and look at that for a finesse shot in the fifth minute. We were talking in the first match how bad his finesse shots, but I guess if you give him enough space, he will just curve it into the back of the net like that. Sterling! Oh my god! Finesse shots! Did not expect to score any finesse shots with him, just because his curve is low, his finishing is low, and I don't know. His long shots, his shot power, he, don't, he shouldn't have that kind of finesse shot. That's insane. Sterling, I see you making that run. Sterling, let's go. Sterling just too fast, he pushes that guy away. Should we cut in? Let's keep tricking this guy and we do trick him. We do trick him. Pass it back. Conte, no! So close. Oh, he didn't see that coming. Oh, he didn't see that coming as well. You know what? Let's just do this. Let's... Oh, ho, ho, Mane! I told him to shoot that first time, but as you guys know, there is button delay. But it was behind Mane, and the way he touched it to go in front of him, that was sick. Oh, the, the dribbling on this guy. Pass it away. Pass it back. Oh! Oh, the Black Messi! The Black Messi! No! His weak foot, even though he wasn't in a great position, that weak foot really just puts me off him. Two-star weak foot. Just disgusting, man. Let's go, Sterling. Sterling. Oh my god, this is what I like about him. Just how long it takes to actually... Oh, referee! Oh, that should be a red. That was a black, messy skill. Sterling, Sterling. Okay, ooh. Oh. Oh, Sterling. Oh, ref. Oh, we still have the ball, though. 
Oh, what is going on? How do how did we have the ball for that long? It's insane. Oh my god, how did Ericsson get into that position? Oh, that was my fault. 3-2, this guy's actually catching up. Oh, big. Oh, that was such a bad decision from the opponent. But we managed to get the ball and Sterling is gone. He's gone. I knew I would be able to trick him like that. Sterling, let's go. That's what you could do with him. The counter-attack is just, just, he's just unstoppable on the counter-attack. And especially when you're one-on-one -on -one against a defender, easily could just run past him or just try and trick him and just make him... As soon as he's behind you, that's it. Sterling is gone. So there you guys have it. We win the match. Sterling, would I recommend him as a left forward? He's a decent player. I mean, he does... Uh, if you love a player that uh, feels like a Messi, a black Messi, basically, he's very fast, insane ball control, and very hard to get the ball off. And at the same time, dribbling with him is insane. Now look at that, seven shots. I'm not sure how many with his weak foot. Three goals, he does score us a hat-trick. I think he scores us five goals in the first match. But again, his weak foot is so damn annoying. So it's up to you guys. He's very good at finessing outside the area as we've discovered, but long shots don't bother with him. His long shots aren't that great. He obviously didn't win any headers for us and uh, he's very weak. So hopefully you enjoyed this video guys, hit the like button if you did. Sterling, amazing black Messi basically, but his weak foot really lets him down and you cannot score any long shots from outside the penalty area. If you're finessing it, you have to be very close and that's all there is to it. So hopefully you enjoyed it, hit the like button if you did and hopefully you have a very nice day.